of California? What is the capital of California? Come on. Who wants to an answer that for $100? What is it? Oh, good answer. Give her a $100 bill. All right, all right. Let me ask you another one. What is the memory span of a goldfish? Who knows? Yeah. Three seconds. Oh, good. Give him a $100 bill. Right there, man. Right on, brother. Right on, right on. Who said this? Do not ask what you can do for your country. No, do not ask. How does that go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one said that. Yeah, do not ask what your country can do for you. Yeah, do not ask what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Who wrote that? This guy, no. Who wrote that? Lincoln. Kennedy, no. No, Lincoln, no. Kennedy didn't write it. No, who? Kennedy's speech. Kennedy's speech writer. That's right. There you go. Very good. What was the president's name in 1964? What was the president's name in 1964? John Kennedy. No. What was the president's name in 1964? Come on. Who? Who? Oh. Oh. Yes. It was Obama. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're standing out here right now because we have a very important question to ask you. If you died today, where do you think you would go? Would you go to a place called heaven or a place called hell? How about you? Heaven. Okay, let's find out. Most people don't understand that you cannot be good enough to make it to heaven. No. God has an ironclad standard by which he will judge everyone by. And that standard is the Ten Commandments. You must keep the Ten Commandments perfectly, but there's a problem. The problem is this. Most people do not know what those Ten Commandments are because they've been taken down from most public institutions. The other problem is this. Nobody can keep the Ten Commandments. It's impossible. Here's the problem. You must keep them perfectly if you're going to make it to heaven. If not, you're in dire straits. So what will happen to you if you don't keep them perfectly? If you don't keep those Ten Commandments perfectly, what will happen is you will die and end up in hell. So let's find out how you'll do on the Day of Judgment when weighed by the standard of God's law. The Ninth Commandment says you shall not lie. Have you ever told a lie? A half-truth or a bald exaggeration. If so, that makes you a liar. The Eighth Commandment says you shall not steal. Have you ever taken something that wasn't yours? A penny, a pencil, a paper clip. The value of the item does not matter. If you've ever taken something that wasn't yours, you're a thief. The Seventh Commandment says you shall not commit adultery. But Jesus says, even if you look with lust, you've committed adultery already in your heart. Who hasn't done that, ladies and gentlemen? The Sixth Commandment says, you shall not murder. Now, some of you may feel like killing me, but the Bible says that he who hates his brother is a murderer. In fact, gentle Jesus says, even if you get angry with somebody, you'll be subject to judgment. And if you call someone a name like you fool, you'll be in danger of the fires of hell. Let's look at one more commandment, ladies and gentlemen. Commandment number three says, You shall not misuse the name of the Lord. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Have you ever said, Oh my G-O-D? Or worse, if so, you'd have to admit that you are a blasphemer. That's taking God's name and using it as a four-letter word to express disgust. Even if you say, Oh my G-O-D, that is blasphemy. Think about it like this, ladies and gentlemen. We do not despise Hitler's name enough to use his name as a cuss word. But we misuse God's name day in and day out with ever a thought that he gave us life and breath and everything we are. If anyone should be used as a cuss word, it should be Hitler. But no, we use God's name. So how did you do? Ninth commandment, do not lie. If you've ever lied, that makes you a liar. Eighth commandment says you shall not steal. Have you ever taken something that wasn't yours that makes you a thief? Seventh commandment says, you shall not commit adultery. But even if you look with lust, you've broken that commandment. And the sixth commandment says, you shall not murder. So, even if you hated somebody, you've broken that. The third commandment says, you shall not misuse the name of the Lord. If you've ever used God's name in vain, then you are a blasphemer. On the day of judgment... God will see you when you die, and God sees your hidden sins. God will see you as a liar, a thief, a blasphemer, an adulterate heart, and a murderer at heart. 
What will you do when all your hidden sins will be revealed? On Judgment Day, if you're honest, if you listen to your conscience, you know that you will be found guilty. If you're found guilty, the Bible says that you will end up in hell forever. The Bible says all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. No thief, no adulterer, no murderer can enter the kingdom of heaven. Folks, right now you stand condemned. You walk on a rotten bridge. Every step ready to send you plummeting to hell. You're like a spider on a web, every flame singeing the side, sending you to hell. The only thing that keeps you out of hell right now is God's good pleasure and the air. What will you do? What will you do on the day of judgment when all your hidden sins are revealed, when every wicked thought is shown before a holy God? Let me tell you, that's the bad news, ladies and gentlemen. But the bad news is bad indeed. You sin one time. That's called sin. You break one commandment, that's sin. You sin one time, the penalty is eternity in hell. But you don't have to go to hell. There is a choice that you can make today to turn to God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength by repenting of your sin, turning away from your sin, and putting your trust in Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the day you can turn away from your adulteries and your thefts and your lying and your stealing and your thought life which dishonors God and you can put your trust in the Savior. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whosoever believes in Him will not perish but have everlasting life. No one needs to perish. Today is the day you hear my voice is a day you can make a choice. Today is a day of salvation. There is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. That name is Jesus Christ. Folks, please don't neglect so great a salvation. Today is a day you can make a choice to repent, turn away, have a change of mind and a change of attitude about your sin. Put your trust in a loving Savior who loved you so much he suffered and died on a cross for you. He was buried for three days and rose again. God came down to earth in the person of Jesus Christ, fully God and fully man, and took the punishment that you deserve. So please, ladies and gentlemen, if you hear my voice, don't harden your heart, but please turn from death to life. God bless you. Have a great night. Please do not die today by drowning in the river without turning to the Savior. Hey, go. You may have some money. I'll just share with you.